In this video, we're going to be using nanoseconds in Java. Nanoseconds can be used to compare two algorithms and figure out which one is better, and they give you a very close comparison. There is a slight problem with it, though, and that's the nanoseconds, like all system time, will be slightly off based off what else your computer is doing. So it's not a 100% way to compare two algorithms, but if you do the test for long enough, you'll get a pretty good idea. Anyways, we're actually just going to do all of this inside the main. So, let's say start right here. So, actually, I'm sorry. We need to create a uh, time 1. So, double time 1. And that will be equal to system.nano time. And then we will tell the user that we are starting. So, we'll just say start. And then we need a quick little program to run. So let's say int sum equals zero. And we'll get another sum. We'll call it sum one equals zero also. So for int i equals zero, while i is less than 10,000, we'll increment i by one. And then we'll say sum plus equals i. And the whole point of this, these for loops right here are just to run a program that doesn't take very long to run at all. So for int j equals 0, j is less than 10,000. j plus plus. And we'll do pretty much the same thing inside there. So we'll actually have a... Uh, plus equals j. So we have a nested for loop here to take out some time, so for int i. And after that we will create time 2. And this will be a whole lot of nanoseconds inside here. You'll see that, but it's not really a whole lot of regular time. You'll see this print almost immediately. So the number of nanoseconds would be time 2 minus time 1. And then we'll run this program, and you'll see it print out almost immediately. So between when it said start and when it said time to run, that was uh, 7,738,489 nanoseconds. And you saw that was pretty quick because it's printing out start, then it prints out the nanoseconds. And really, I'm not seeing a difference. I'm not in when it says start and when it says time to run. I'm not sure if my computer is even doing the frames per second fast enough to show that difference. Anyways, I really don't like to use nanos nano time that much. I normally just use uh, the millisecond time. That's good enough for anything I need it to do. I think it's really good enough for most people. But nanoseconds are always an option if you need to use that for some reason. I'm not planning on doing anything else with nanoseconds, but if you would like me to, please let me know, and I'll try to do that for you. Thanks for watching.